Hi, I'm Emily Brackett, president of Visible Logic, a graphic design and branding company in Portland, Maine. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to make an electronic version of your letterhead using Microsoft Word. Normally, when we work with our clients for a logo or branding project, as part of the package, we create a letterhead. This is something that gets sent off to the offset printer, and you end up with a nice ream of letterhead paper to send through your laser printer. But many times we want to share files electronically, such as sending off a proposal, a letter, an estimate to a client, and it never gets printed on the actual letterhead paper. So having an electronic version of the letterhead is a great way to keep your brand identity consistent. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to make an electronic version of your letterhead using Microsoft Word. I wanted to start by showing you what the finished letterhead is supposed to look like. What we have here is a graphic banner near the top with the company's logo and some of their service offerings. And at the bottom, there is their contact information. Now you could create some of these elements in Word, but you won't have as much control over the way the fonts look, the way you can create graphics. So often we create pieces of those elements outside of Word and then place them within the Word template. We're going to start by opening Word and making a new blank document. We're going to put our logo graphic near the top and our address and contact information in the bottom like it was in the design. To show where those are, to be able to see, you want to view header and footer. Put your cursor in the header area and insert picture from file. I've already saved those two pieces as JPEG files and I'm going to insert them here. I've sized them correctly to fit in, but as you can see, the image size is now too small. It's recognizing the margins that are on the page and we want the graphic image to bleed all the way left and right. So we're going to need to override that. First of all, by double clicking on the image, we can correct the size. So I'm going to put it back to 100% size, height and width. But you'll still see that it's sitting to the side because of the margins that are set up for the document. Now we don't want to change the document setting margins to zero because then when we type the letter, the words would be all the way to the side. So we just want to override that in this header section. So with the header still highlighted, we're going to say Format Paragraph. And you need to do a negative indent equal to the margin of the paper. So this margin is set to one and a quarter inches, so we're going to put a negative one and a quarter inch there. And there you go, we've uh, properly centered that file. The other things we can go down to the footer and do the same thing to add the image there. Insert picture from file, footer image, insert, and double click it. Make it 100%. Uh, so I've already done the adjustments and uh, cropped them appropriately in Photoshop. Format the paragraph, negative one. 0.25 inches. Okay, now you can see the finished template. And if we go back up here to view and then uncheck header and footer, you'll see those elements, the graphic elements at the top and the, and the address at the bottom and the footer gray back and your cursor is here in the live area of the Word document. From here you can um, start working with your text and you're all set. So again, this is Emily Brackett, president of Visible Logic. You can find samples of our logo and branding projects at www.visiblelogic.com. Thank you.